Yeah, here we are in a banana plantation at Bethania Hospital. Just uh, wanted to mention it's been really enjoyable to work with nature and with multiplying bananas, banana plants. Um, we had, uh, oh, maybe a half dozen plants here uh, when I came and so we multiplied them. Uh, actually, you can you can take the trunk of a banana. Here's a here's a small one. This is the way bananas uh, multiply. The this uh, plant here is is uh, uh, growing out of the stump of the one next to it. Here's uh, some more like that. That that's how they how they multiply. But we only had a few, and they weren't being uh, managed. So we actually took some stumps of bananas, uh, banana plants, and and you can cut them into blocks and to make five or six out of a stump, and each each piece will will uh, will grow. So uh, we've got probably hundreds of of plants around here now. I took this water tank. Uh, it was an abandoned water tank that was built back oh, probably 30 years ago and it uh, for some reason it wasn't wasn't being used so I put it back into use so that we had a reserve of, of water and I planted the uh, uh, strawberry uh, strawberries planted the bananas just make my way up the side of the tank here I planted these banana plants uh, around the tank to shade it uh, and and also to uh, the the bananas capture uh, the banana plants capture the, some of the moisture that's lost because, well, the cement the cement was uh, was just mixed on site and probably over a period of quite a few days. It's a, as you can see, it's a it's a fairly large tank and it's uh, I think it's eight feet deep or maybe more, maybe it's ten. So so it it uh, it does lose some water, but and here the. Banana. The the plants shade the 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 tank to keep it well, slightly slightly cooler, uh, and also they 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 use the moisture that's that's lost um, uh, because the the tank obviously uh, wasn't built to absolutely hold water. Here's a cluster of bananas. These mini bananas don't make huge clusters like we might see on a. Uh, in a supermarket store or whatever they they're generally this one is this one's a pretty good size but um, I think there's a this one here is this is nicer there you go there's a cluster of uh, a kind of mini banana um, I think there's some more around here right now I'm not oh here here's the other here's the other one see there we are so we're getting a pretty good uh, production happening of, of bananas. These will be probably cut off, cut fairly soon, and then they they kept in a in a warehouse until they until they uh, 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 kind of ripen. If we leave them out here, the birds eat them, or the squirrels and so forth. Uh, just to to take note of how the banana sends out this uh, this uh, shoot. Uh, first, first of all, with a with a flower on the end of the stem, it comes out with a flower, and then on that stem is is where the the bananas form. Uh, banana is not actually a, a tree. We think of it in the north as you know it looks like a tree, so it, but it's not actually. It's more like a uh, I guess a, a, one could say like an onion. The uh, the the uh, the use for us here is not only for human food. Bananas are quite cheap, but but also that uh, uh, the animals that we produce here at Bethania, the chickens and the pigs, uh, they love to eat uh, the stem, and they eat the entire stem. They eat, they eat the the trunk, the roots, and and everything. And I don't I don't know what's in it that they like, but they they eat it all. So so producing bananas has has been uh, has worked out for us here, and it it provides uh, uh, nutrition for animals as well as humans. So there we are, the banana story.